America over the past week, but it's important to remember we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Street Squad's Emily Carell shares resources for those who feel they may have been exposed to the virus during recent protests. For many, protesting over the weekend and throughout the week is essential in advocating for change. While protesters exercise their First Amendment rights, they have potential to be exposed to COVID-19. If you feel you have a need for testing, you should by all means get, get tested. Dr. Helmut Albrecht is the chair of internal medicine at Prisma Health and tells us the average time from exposure to onset of symptoms is 5.2 days. You usually start shedding the virus and are highly infectious a day or two before that. So waiting for symptoms to show up before you get tested isn't necessarily the safest thing to do. Dr. Albrecht says if you think you are exposed, you need to first assess your risk. At risk is based on how close, how long was the contact, how intense was the contact. Uh, chanting, yelling, has a coughing, sneezing has a higher risk than talking to somebody if both of you wear masks, the, the risk of, of shedding droplets far away is very low. If you feel you were in a situation with high risk, there are multiple free testing sites across the Midlands. Prisma Health has free testing Thursday from 10 to 2 at Riverbank Elementary, Friday at William J. Clark Middle School, and Saturday at the Sumter Civic Center. Lexington Medical is hosting free testing to Casey and West Columbia residents June 16th at Brooklyn Baptist Church. To access all of these resources, including additional testing sites, head to our website at WLTX.com.